Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Hiba Rahman, and this is Wolf Pack News for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. Nominations for Homecoming Court are in. Anyone nominated must stop by Mrs. Wren's room, E196, to pick up a form and sign it by today. The following students have been nominated. Freshman boys, Ryan Coffey, Troy Davis, Ryan O'Hara, and Kevin Tegmeyer. Freshman girls, Morgan Boardwine, Gretchen Kumjan, Molly Schlitz, and Lauren Timms. Sophomore boys, Devin Aguilar, Derek Dorsey, Mason Medelinski, and Devin Riley. Sophomore girls, Abby Disher, Alex Hens, Taylor Peck, and Sarah Schultz. Junior boys, Max Banky, Jack Borvon, Cairo Cabrellas, and Jacob Kaplin. Junior girls, Emma Benson, Mackenzie Kennedy, Macy McCollum, and Maddie Timken. Senior boys, Corey Kennedy, Tyler Kennedy, Devonche Simpson, and Rennick Wilson. Senior girls, Caitlin Bento, Andrea Bertles, Sam Loveland, and Lita Vo. Again, if you've been nominated, stop by Miss Wren's room, E196, to pick up a form and sign it by today. Red senior class shirts will be on sale tomorrow during lunch for $12 while supplies last at the Commons concession stand. Pre-ordered Navy Crosstown shirts will be available for pickup Wednesday during lunch and Thursday before school and at the Commons concession stand. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Greg. Homecoming tickets go on sale Thursday during all lunches. Tickets are $25 in advance and $30 at the door. You can save up to $3 by bringing in three canned, goods, three canned good items. Make sure you have a current school ID when purchasing tickets and bring it to the dance to get in. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Dean's guest passes are, can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by this Wednesday. No exceptions. At this year's homecoming, students can request music. The dance theme is A Night in the City and will be DJed by B96. They, want it, they, they know what you want to hear. Go to my, myboom.com backslash Oswego East and click on the request button. You can request as many songs as you want. National German Honor Society and German Club are hosting a National German American Culture and Food Festival from 6 to 8 p.m. Thursday in the community room. Friends and families from OHS and OE are welcome. Tickets are five dollars if you buy them during lunch and six dollars at the door. That's the latest entertainment. Now back to Anchor Desk. Government Club and the Social Studies Department are sponsoring a voter registration drive. If you will be 18 by November 4th, you are eligible to register to vote. The voter drive will take place on Tuesday, September 30th and Wednesday, October 1st during all lunches. Please bring two forms of photo ID, your school ID, and driver's license. Questions can be directed to Mrs. Kyrus or Mr. Vera. If you need help in your social studies classes, Row Kappa National Student Honor Society is providing tutoring in all social studies subjects, AP classes included. Tutoring takes place before school, after school, and during guided study and lunches every day. Please get a pass from your social studies teacher to take advantage of this opportunity. Tutoring is located at the table in the first floor G wing. Spirit Week starts Monday. We have a student council representative here to tell us what to expect. Here's Zach with more. I'm here with Joe Sanchez to tell us about Spirit Week. Thanks for being here, Joe. Tell us what we should wear each day for Spirit Week. Um, Monday will be Pajama Day, Tuesday is Chicago Sports Day, Wednesday is Class Color Day. So freshmen wear blue, sophomores wear green, juniors wear orange, and seniors wear red. Th Thursday is throwback, and Friday is navy blue and silver. Now, what are the rules for dressing up? Um, students must not violate the dress code all week long, so no revealing clothing, um, no hats, no capes. They must wear shoes on pajama day. Um, that's pretty much it. We also see decorations around the school. Are there any guidelines for that? Yes, class decorations for the hallways will be Monday, next Monday, October 6th from 4.45 to 7 p.m. Students um, can meet in the cafeteria where student council will go over the rules. And prior to this, students must make sure that um, balloons are latex-free and any students um, caught tearing down um, other classes, posters, or any material will get points deducted from their class. Thank you, Joe. Now, back to the Anchor Desk. Pottery Club is holding its first meeting Thursday at 2.45 in room B270, and will meet every other Thursday after that. The club costs $30, which will be used to purchase materi materials needed to operate. Be prepared to get messy. 
The district food drive ends Thursday. We need to collect more items than OHS to be recognized at this week's Crosstown game. The top freshman seminar or guidance study will receive a pizza party, and the top five classes will be entered into a raffle for prizes. If everyone brings in two items, East will be able to donate 4,600 items. High schoolers are high schools are collecting canned food, paper items, and toiletries. Did you know that there are over 7,000 people that receive food and they receive items from the pantry twice per month? This is a great opportunity for East to show our community spirit and to give back to those in need. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for National Honor Society membership. Download the necessary forms from Mrs. Calvi's website or see Mrs. Calvi in the English Department office with any questions. Teacher recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than Wednesday. The first practice for the Scholastic Bowl is today in C-107. See Mr. Carlisle or Mr. Brown with any questions. The first meeting for OE's Black Student Alliance, or BSA, is today after school in Ms. White's room, E-295. It will last from 2.45 to 3.30. Anime's club, anime Club's regular meeting this week will be in room E-131. The Halloween Cafe will be moved to the 16th of October. Government is meeting today and every Tuesday after school in the community room. Anyone is welcome to join at any time. And now it's time for sports. Here's Miranda. The Wolves golfers defeated Aurora Central Catholic and Walter Lutheran on Friday at Phillips Park. Juniors Max Benke and Keegan Schrump shot a 39, while Adam Densberger and Tom Cummings scored a 43. The Wolves finished their season at 6-4 and four overall. Good luck in the Southwest Prairie Conference Tournament on Wednesday. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. And finally, juniors and seniors who want to pursue a degree in the healthcare field can get experience at Dr. Rubin's Mini Medical School in January of 2015. If interested, fill out an application in Student Services and turn it in by Friday, October 10th. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Heather Rahman. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.